All right, video number two. Now, um, it's not going to be a thing today, but I'm telling you right now. Uh, this is a Kadabra video. As you can see, I have a nice new Listen to Kadabra Records shirt. This actually glows in the dark, so shout out to Holy Mountain Printing. You guys are fucking awesome, and if you want some awesome metal or Kadabra shirts, they've got Ghost in the Shell and stuff like that too, some niche things. Get you some screen printed shirts from Holy Mountain. Ten dollars US per shirt. Fuck it, you can't beat that shit. I'm not sponsored. Shit's just fucking awesome. Um, just straighten some vinyls out here. Can't be having all that lean happening. Cadaver showed up. A real nice one. So, first off, let me show you. If you sub, if you're one of Cadaver's subbers, you get a nice checklist to keep track of all the stuff that's coming to you. Uh, and it has some nice previews of upcoming artwork. That's going to be the Dunwich Horror Jacked. If there is a wax mage for Dunwich Horror, you best believe I'm going to try and snipe me one of those. Um, and maybe the Wicker Man. I forget if which ones he said we're getting wax mage. But I am going to skip out on the upcoming The Beyond Wax Mage. I'm still looking to move that hand poured splatter if one of you guys is interested. Um, so, I started off with a checklist, but I also want to start off, not, I mean, not that I'm doubting uh, Jonathan's dedication to his fans. He's fucking awesome and checks out all sorts of shit that I'm, I have no idea, but, uh, I kind of doubt that he's watching my videos. But on the off chance that uh, you are watching my videos, Jonathan, thank you. Thank you so much. You saw, well, you did not, not that you reached out. And I reached out to you after the last video with the gray origami dreams. And Jonathan told me it was absolutely no problem. And he sent me the red one. In my sub shipment, he said not to worry about it. Fucking exemplary customer service, as always. And I can always expect that from fucking Kadabra. And you can always expect that from Kadabra. Order you some shit. Um, I got three posters for one of the releases. I don't want to... I'll te I, I don't want to tease... I want to tease, but I don't want to give away the title... Um, because we're gonna we're gonna unveil that in a moment. We'll get to that. So technically, there are two releases that I got today, but quite a few um, actual things that I have to open and show and and look at because I haven't even looked at them myself. So those two are the same. Let me put those in such a way that I don't have to worry about them leaning. There's a special one. Why was that purple, Jason? What was that all about? Why is that one red, Jason? What was that all about? What's going on here? Alright, so we're going to start with this one. We got... We got a fucking awful glare is what we got. There's the cover. And there's the title. We got Todd Robbins. Oh my god, did my fucking... My camera just froze on me again, so I can't see what you can see. So, bear with me. We're gonna get this thing done. Um, I came prepared this time, and I've got a fucking... The type of razor blade that uh, your grandparents might have slit their wrists with. Sorry. You know me. Gotta be controversial. So I haven't opened any of these. This is gonna be the first time that I'm opening them. True unboxing. Last time I opened Origami Dreams and uh, I had already seen it, so 
the video did not capture my excitement. Part of the reason I do these videos is because I want to capture the excitement. Not only so that you guys can see it, but so that I can rewatch it in the future and just like feel it again. You gotta feel it. It's like it's like heroin. Don't do heroin, people. Jesus Christ. So, Todd Robbins Spurs is about, as you might have seen on the cover there, this little young, I, I can't see what you can see, so I'm hoping you can see this. This young man um, uh, loves the, uh, maybe, it's, maybe it's this woman here, uh, a beautiful young woman, but she's of normal stature and he's kind of like a midget, and... Uh, very rich and she tries to like appease him so that she can get his riches but uh, I don't know yet I haven't listened to the story so I'm, I'm excited to uh, see what we got something about the conclusion I, I was only teased the synopsis so something about the conclusion leads uh, the midget man to execute the woman's lover in front of her and force her to give him a ride across Europe or something, I'm fucking down. So this is the sub variant. It is a creamy white with yellow splotches. I'm giving that a spinneroo as soon as I can. Uh, gently lean them down here. So. That was Spurs, and this is also Spurs. I got the last page. But how could I do this? So, uh, su again, a super thank you to Mr. Gen Mr. Dennison sending me Origami Dreams. The slight unfortunate was that the corner burst the red sleeve of my... Uh, Spurs Wax Mage. It was tucked in the sleeve of this. Creative. I still thank you. Um, I'll, I'll pull it up again. There's the sleeve. Just like Origami Dreams, it's got a red one. This is very cool, though. I did not see that from the sleeve. The, uh, the screen-printed paper has actually got a red hue to it. It's like a burgundy. Very nice. What number did I get? Whew, number 24 of 25. I don't know if that corresponds to, like, bot order, but if it does, mm, I just sniped one in. So, um, I brought some toys this time because I don't think I wore gloves for Origami Dreams and it has been haunting my dreams a little bit keep remembering that and I'm like why did I do that I should have worn gloves so this time we got gloves pull out that razor blade ever so gently try and fill the silence while I open this package. You people seen what the hell's going on in America right now? Man. It's fucking crazy riots everywhere. Don't get me wrong, I think what happened in the um, George Floyd police incident was wrong. Don't, don't think that I don't think anyone out there thinks that that was right, and if you do, man, you should give your head a shake. But I don't know if burning the city down is the right way. I don't know. I don't know anything though. I'm just a dude collecting fucking vinyls, so what do I know? I could just hope and pray that the world will still be here, and I 
can enjoy my vinyls a little longer. Anyway, on to the uh, the good shit. You don't need. We don't need to be talking politics and all sorts of fucking downer nonsense in here. Um, so the benefit slash curse of me living in Canada and getting my wax mages later than everyone is that I get to see what they look like. I get to have an idea of what to expect. But uh, I, I also, I don't remember how I started this sentence. How did we get here? What year is it? Um, I seriously don't remember where I was going with that. I get them last. Maybe that's where I was going. It takes it takes a while for me to get them. So. Here it is. I got it. Let us see what we got. Oh, man. That is snazzy. It looks very similar to uh, Origami Dreams with the uh, slight mottled green added in there. I like it, though. I'm down. Down like the clown till my pants are on the ground. So, tuck you back in there. I will have to take pictures later. Ooh. Well, that was just the uh, plastic insert. There's a little bit of a ruffling to it. That's okay. Or the poly sleeve, whatever, whatever, however you want to refer to it. So, wax mage. I will leave the screen printed thing there and I will gently put you down there, sir. Um, I'm going to leave the gloves on. That kind of gives it away, but uh, I'm going to leave the gloves on. So, first up... Well, I already had first up, but first up out of the second uh, album slash release, however you want to call them. We got Alistair Crowley's The Blood Lotus. Now... You may have seen when I was passing it down there. I'm going to try and get through this quick because it's going to take a little while here. I'll keep talking. You may have seen when I was passing it down there. I got three variants. That is because one of them's a subscriber variant. One of them's a hand pour. Uh, another, I'm going to keep shamelessly plugging it. Another shout out to that hand pour of the beyond I'm trying to move. This hand pour is exactly like that, but instead of red and black, it is purple and black. So, I actually don't know between the, the... There's three of them. Between two of them, I don't know whether one is the subscriber or one is the hand pour. So, this could be one or the other. Let us find out what we got. We got a little bit of a ding in the bottom corner of the jacket, so I'm hoping this one is the sub. What do we got? Oh, it is the hand pour. It's like a pastel purple, similar to the land of rape and honey from Ministry. It's a nice black explosion. Very nice. So, one of three. I don't know much about the Blood Lotus other than it's obviously Mr. Crowley. Crowley, however, is the proper way to say his name. I don't even know the proper way. But uh, many people back in the day believed that Mr. Crowley was the most wicked man in the world, I think is the title that they gave him. 
and I think he very much liked being called that. Um, I don't know if I exactly believe in black magic, but I, I'm very fascinated in many of the things that Mr. Crowley was fascinated in, so... Interested to hear some of his uh, poetries and observations and whatnot. This is supposed to be a whole bunch of interesting stuff from the famous Mr. Crowley. Ah, and uh, you know, I gotta, I gotta keep talking, fill the silence while I open this shit. Um, Mr. Lawrence Harvey reads this to us. Um, he coincidentally was the same person who read, if you watched video number one for today, The Caterpillar. He is in The Human Centipede Part 2? Maybe Part 3. I haven't seen any of The Human Centipedes. Sorry, Mr. Harvey. It's just not my cup of tea. I like your voice, though. Good reading. So, subscriber variant. Oh! Well, I am very pleased with that one. Um, it's It was listed and described quite the same as the subscriber variant for Origami Dreams, so I was a little worried about that, but this one's a lot darker than Origami Dreams. It's almost like super dark gray mixed with little bits of light. Compared to other people's, I think I like mine. The other people have gotten a few lighter variants that look very similar to more to my origami dreams, so I like that very much. Now, let us finish up the video with a bang. Um, you saw a peek earlier. I got the wax mage for the blood lotus. Um, there won't be many wax mages for this sub, but uh, I knew that the Blood Lotus, even though I don't know much about it, I knew this was going to be something people are going to covet. The, it's, as far as I know, it's the first Crowley uh, cadaver release, so people are going to be losing their shit. Let us see what the Wax Mage looks like. And, like, you, you Crowley, Crowley scholars out there, please, in the comments or something, direct me to the right way to say the fucking name. I know I'm a moron, and I could probably look it up myself. Jesus, you fucking lazy motherfucker. Yeah, I am a lazy motherfucker. I've got all this other shit to do. I've been making fucking Minecraft rail stations for the past week. And, uh, yeah, just wait till you see that shit. I'm, I'm talking about Minecraft shit on my Cadabra video, you know it, I'm breaking the rules, but uh, my channel's all about video games and vinyls, so deal with it. And uh, if you're one of these dingleberries that thinks Minecraft is for kids, hold your fucking dick, because when you see the shit that I made in Minecraft, you're going to be like, oh, maybe I need to reconsider. Anyway. This is the one that I'm, I'm super excited to see. Spurs was cool and all, but I have seen some people's pores of this puppy. And oh my. So here we are. We're at the moment. There's the tease. And it doesn't make me any less excited. I... Res a quick note, too, before I pull these out. Um, the box that these came in was quite a thick box. It was like 6 inches by 12 by 12, because it's vinyls. Um, the fucking post office left it outside my house for like 4 or 5 hours in the sun. And I got to it, and I was very glad that no homeless person had stolen it. So, on top of the value, on top of the, I believe... The, I believe it's proper to use the word intrinsic. And so the intrinsic value, on top of the intrinsic value of these wax mages and whatnot, they have more value because they survived the homeless onslaught. So, 
Anyway, let's... No stalling. Let's do it. Oh, man. Look at that. Oh, man. Some of you gonna be jelly. Some of you gonna be jelly on that one. I've got a few more longer black streaks. I like it. Fucking nice. Well, guys, thank you for watching. And uh, I gotta go take pictures of these to post on the Kadabra page. And then I gotta get back to my Minecraft shit. So, I don't remember if I said thanks or not. But thank you. Have a good one. See you soon, because there's shit coming in the mail. Because I'm... I'm done. See you next time.